Kia ora, my name is Are Katera Maihi. To my friends and family, they call me Cuts. Carving Tamoko is all our original written language because we didn't have one, you know, as in we didn't have an alphabet, we didn't have words as such to spell. We utilised the designs that our ancestors left us. We brought that with us from Hawaii, from Polynesian lifestyles. All of our designs derive from nature. All of our designs have a massive reference to all things from nature, you know, because we believe nature is our older brother. The lines within our designs aren't just a single line, you know, they have a connecting point, they have a starting point and an ending point, and they actually continue. When you look at our faces, on my mum's chin and my face itself, it, you can see it, there's a reflection, and it's also a, a, a flowing, natural sort of connection because, you know, it fits with the face, it doesn't just get plastered on like a sticker. Every line on my face, you know, it references certain aspects of what I've done in my life, certain aspects of my ancestors, uh, what they've done. These designs here are referencing the movement of water. Uh, we call this pattern here, Pu Horo. Pu means to be explosive, Horo means to be quick. So it's more about a propulsion thing. In the opening titles, the um, brief I was given was to sort of connect to what the wakas are doing, what the boats are doing. So as soon as they said it's for the wakas, I knew exactly what it was. Underwater has to be something that connects the design with the water and the boat. In the air, it has to deal with the sail, so I knew exactly what motives to use. The spiralling design here, another reference to movement on the water, so when you're basically paddling, you look down at the water next to your waka and you see the movement of the spiralling of the water. So what you'll probably see in the titles is the stingray form. The movement is about how those beings or beasts work in the water. Because these designs are so organic, you know, they can fit to anything. And we like to fit them to certain things like, you know, racing and that's what the propulsion's about, you know, you've got to, to be the winner, you've got to be fast, you know. You've got to select your course and then do all of that stuff. It's what our ancestors did to navigate to get to Aotearoa, you know. They knew where they were going and we made it. We live around all of this ocean. Sailing is in our culture, sailing is in our every fibre, you know. So I'm glad we got asked to participate in the process.